Hi folks, Professor Amache here, wanting to get you through T2 Code 2. So if you're ready, let's get started. Cool, here we are at T2 Code 2. So, yep, same as always, don't work off your masters. Okay, we got our two files that are gonna be out here. How about we open? Uh, over here, go live and code two to HTML. And if you want here too, you can also open the uh, the markdown file and follow along. All right. So your page is gonna look something like this. We're going to need a nav list over here on the left and uh, some text out here on the right. And uh, we're going to need our sports talk here to be centered. We're going to use CSS to, to accomplish all of this. OK, so here's what we're going to do on the code22HTML. We're going to do this. We're going to enter in here two style sheets. So we'll do link CSS times two. Okay, and the first one is uh, code two two layout. That's it. Yep, that's the one right there. Code two two layout. And the second one. We're going to reference here is code to to CSS. Okay, and you're probably wondering here, what the heck is a code to to layout? Out over here, this is uh, just kind of a general starting point where we want to start from. Since that was first up in in here, line 15, then followed by the other, it parses your your browser is going to parse line 15 first, then 16. So it's going to hit the, the layout and set up the body here to be uh, 900 pixels on the length, uh, sets up the, the nav area here with 250 pixels. We float it out here on the left. Uh, the height is 400 pixels up here sets your background color and sets your padding. Anything that's that's an article tag, you set that width and you float it left, right? So anything that's an article out over here. Actually, uh, I think this could even be, even be combined into here, but that's okay. This is uh, just, one it one file in our example, the main one we're going to be working with is this one. So this is our fun. We get to build this out here. Okay, so we got that saved. First and last name, please. Okay, same. Uh, don't have to do it on that one. I will do it on there and over here too. So let's get started with any H1 headings that are direct children of the header element. We're going to create a rule here. So what that looks like is this header and H1. So that means it's a child. Anything with header H1, uh, set the text align property to center, set the font family to impact or sans serif, and set the font size to three. Hey, easy enough. Text align, let's go center there. We'll do font family. Uh, we'll do impact. So we'll do impact, and if it can't do that, then we fall back to sans serif. 
and font size, set that to three. For any H1 headings that are direct children of the nav element here, we're going to set that font size to 1.2, set the color to white, set the background color to black, and set the text align property to center. All right, so that's nav H1. So if direct children under nav, set that font size to 1.2, colors white, background color, that's gonna be black, text align, it's gonna be center. Might be able to see it a little bit better over here. All right, next, and for H1 headings that are direct children of the article element, right, article H1, same format as we've been doing right up here. Uh, we're gonna set that font size to, to two and set that font family to cursive. Then font family, let's go cursive on that. Can't really see it on that browser preview, but if, you, if you're if you following along here with, uh, with this, yeah, I recommend keeping your browser window open when you go live there so that you'll be able to see the cursive, uh, the cursive style here, that font family there. For unordered list elements nested within the nav element, that's out here, set the list style type to none and set the line height to two. Apparently, we don't wanna see these little bullet points here. So let's do nav, uh, unordered list, uh, that's within out over here. So the unordered list, yeah, that's these right here. So list style type, that's gonna be none. And line height, set that to two. See how that's working there? What if here, we don't wanna see these, we don't wanna see this uh, text decoration you know, these links here. Let's set this up so that anything that's an anchor tag, remember those from T1? So anchor tag, the color, set that to ivory and text decoration, set that to none. Isn't that cool? Last one here, let's say that we, if we were to hover over any of these links, let's uh, give some sort of indication that it's gonna be called out. So we can do it like this. So any anchor tag that we hover over, we can set that text decoration to underline. So now we see the underline only when we hover, not uh, all the time. Your page should look something like that. Okay, hopefully that worked out for you. I certainly enjoyed putting this together for you. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next.